Brockford as he wheels it back to the blue line and tries to slide one towards the slot, but it was knocked out of the air by Edvinson. Kept in the zone by Gus for Rockford. Oh, Gus drags it to his forehand, pass across, and Hutchinson with a 10-bell save. But what a move by Gus, moving it over for Sini. He really robbed him. I thought that was for sure in. That was it. Hardman wheels this around for Joey Anderson, who keeps the flow moving back to Anders Bjork. He had two assists last night. Oh, Bjork shoots off that's the it. pipe, and they score! one nothing Rockford. York had the first shot, and the follow-up found the back of the net from Del Mastro. If it's Del Mastro's goal, it's his first as a professional. Great job, but is he jumping in and going to the net there? We can read that. We we're going to have time for the shot. But you think that first one from Bjork hit the I, back bar? I, I thought it was in, but I thought it was just, just inside, but maybe not. Let's take another look here. It happened so fast. Uh, tough to tell from that replay that we just the saw. Corner. They're not looking at it again, so. So it is Ethan. Face off in the offensive zone as we get back to work. Oh, yeah. And they score again! Rocker wheeling and dealing here in the first. Brett Cini gets his second in as many games. 2-0. That. Looked like it might have been David Gust. Yeah, like you're saying, it was CD on the wall. Gust with the tip in front. Yeah, it oh, went off the. Front. He's always in front of the net. Possession off the face off. You know, you want that in the offensive zone. Puck to the front of the net. Camesso sprawls save. out and makes a save in the blue paint. And that freezes the action with 13.29 left here in the third. Still 2-0. The Ice Hogs are as Edmondson pinches down. Six on five right now with an empty net. Gutman steals it in the Rockford zone. Up ahead for Gust. He chips it for Anderson at the empty net. He scores. Joey Anderson gets a goal in his fourth straight game. And it's 3-0. An empty netter for the Ice Hogs with 2.26 left in the third. So... When you can put your top offensive players out in a goal, full goalie situation, that's a coach's dream. You want to be, you know, your veteran guys, sometimes those guys are, are good offensively, but they're not shot blockers, and the guys are going to win the battles on the walls to get the puck out. So that's a great situation when you can do that, get your top offensive guys out there. Pretty unselfish by David Gus, too. Some guys maybe would have panicked at the neutral zone.